dive into the pool of irregular phrasal verbs. Hello learners! Welcome to another exciting English lesson. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing aspect of the English language, irregular phrasal verbs. Remember, these verbs are formed by an irregular verb combined with a particle, either a preposition or an adverb, and their meaning cannot be inferred from the individual words. So, let's dive right in. First, let's clarify what we mean by irregular phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb consists of a main verb combined with a particle. Most phrasal verbs are regular, but some are irregular. The irregularity lies not in the formation of the verb, but rather in their meaning. They often mean something different than what you would expect from the individual verb and particle. For example, consider the verb, to give up. To give, is a regular verb, and, up, is a common adverb, but together, they create an irregular phrasal verb. To give up, doesn't mean to physically hand something upwards, but rather to quit or stop doing something. Let's move on to some common examples of irregular phrasal verbs. We'll start with, break down. This doesn't mean to fracture into smaller parts physically. Instead, it means to stop functioning, for machines, or to lose control emotionally. Come across. Instead of physically crossing a space, this verb means to find or encounter something or someone unexpectedly. Look forward to. This doesn't mean to literally look ahead, but it means to anticipate something positively. Remember, context is key to understanding the meaning of these phrasal verbs. Now let's look at how to use irregular phrasal verbs in sentences. My car broke down on my way to work. Here, we're using, broke down, to indicate that the car stopped working. I came across an old friend at the grocery store. In this sentence, came across, is used to indicate an unexpected encounter. I'm really looking forward to the holiday. In this context, looking forward, means anticipating the holiday with positivity. Phew! That was a deep dive into the world of irregular phrasal verbs. Remember, these might seem tricky, but with consistent practice and usage, they'll become second nature. Don't be discouraged if you don't get them right immediately. Language learning is a journey, not a destination. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons. Happy learning!